Hello, my name is Samantha Jo, and I'm addicted to buying clothes that I probably will never wear. There's even so many clothes before we even get into the closet. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Hey! As you can tell today, we're in my closet. I have the best closet. I've never had a closet like this in my life. Honestly, if you've seen previous closets, this one stayed pretty clean. I guess I'm kind of cleaning my closet. The bigger main purpose for today is to get rid of clothes. Believe it or not, I got rid of so many clothes when I moved. I came here and I kept buying more. I just feel like there are so many clothes in my closet that I am keeping for no reason. I'm never gonna wear them. In fact, I won't notice that they're gone. Drawers are overstuffed, I can't use them. Right now it looks like there's empty space, but that's because a lot of my clothes aren't put away right now but that's a good thing because all of the clothes that I typically wear are dirty so the stuff in here is stuff that I don't wear very often but for some reason I'm holding on to I'm not getting rid of everything I have attachment issues my goal is to at least fill up this basket I know you guys are gonna want me to probably sell them on Poshmark or Depop or Instagram or something I've tried that and it never works out the last time I tried to sell stuff on Depop it wouldn't let me print shipping labels I might pick a few things and try it one last time and see if it works or try it different platform. I even went out and bought a printer so I could print shipping labels because I was so prepared to have like a Depop business. We'll see how that goes. First things first, we have to find clothes to get rid of. Look at Duncan. Can you see him? We're just gonna go section by section and see what we can get rid of. See how much space we can make. Hopefully by the end of this we have room for all of the new. But I am on a budget now so I'm not buying clothes like I was, which is a good thing. Definitely is a healthy change. I look very vibrant today. I know some of you are gonna ask where it's from. The entire thing is from Buff Bunny. I got my package in the mail from the things that I ordered for the Buff Bunny That 70s launch. Or That's So 70s. Or that's Groovy. Their newest launch. I'll have the website linked below. You guys can use code SAMJO if you want to shop and support me. I'm sure there's some stuff left if you guys didn't get anything that you guys can go grab. How cute is this jacket? I got this jacket in a 2x and I got this dress in a 2x. Oh, is the boob pad way up here? Get down and do your damn job. I hate boob pads. It has built-in shorts. So comfy. I'm obsessed. I only got it in black because I didn't think I was going to like it on me. If I order another one, I'm going to get it in just a simple extra large just because I would like it to be a little more fitting, which is why I threw this top on over it. Like, how cute is this? Samantha got me the cutest little strawberry earrings. I'm telling you, get ready. Even if it's just like a simple thing like this, you feel so much better and have so much more energy. I'm excited to get rid of shit. It's that simple. I don't think I've ever filmed one of these before. I also don't know that I've ever watched one. So I don't know how people traditionally do this. I'm gonna do it my way. My way or the highway. I'm gonna go through each thing and if I haven't worn it in six months, with the exception of like winter clothes, it's gonna have to go. Baskets ready. This is a cute little American Eagle shirt. I've had this for forever. <sighs> It just says Colorado on it. This would be such an easy shirt for me to wear, but I just don't wear it. I'm on the first shirt and I'm already like, I could wear it like this. <sighs> Can I have a maybe section? This one I love. This is just a plain white shirt, but I love the back of this one, so I'm not getting rid of it. This, on the other hand, I'm gonna put you back. You live to see another day. This I'm gonna get rid of. This is just a white tank top turtleneck. For a while, I was really into that style where you had a turtleneck under a sweatshirt, and then I just realized it doesn't do much for me because I don't have a big neck. Well, I have a big neck. I don't have a long neck. I got this one as a tank top because I didn't have to have a full shirt on under my sweatshirt. So if you're into that look, this is cute. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I got this from Skims. How cute is it? It just ties in the front as a little lounge shirt. Stuff is falling off. Also keeping this, it's so hard to see what it is on a hanger, but it's just like a square neck halter white tank top. So many empty hangers. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this too. It's from Urban Outfitters. This is literally the same concept. It's a white shirt. It's like a turtleneck that goes under a sweatshirt. Not into it anymore. This is one of the ones that's gonna be painful. I got this from Princess Polly. I'm a huge Princess Polly girly. I love their curve line. I don't know what everyone else. Duncan just opened my closet door. It scared the living shit out of me. I love their curve line, but this shirt just doesn't work for my saggy titties. There's nowhere for them to go. I don't have perky enough boobs for this one. It's a no from me. It doesn't have a tag on it, but I've never worn it. Ask me why I took the tag off. I don't know. I promise you I'm better. I don't order clothes like I used to. Really cute though. Just not cute on me. I probably don't have to show you guys every item of clothing. I have not worn this in forever. I don't touch gray clothes, so it's going away. I sweat way too much for gray clothes. This still has a tag on it, but I'm gonna Gonna keep it always good to have basics here's one i'm probably gonna say goodbye to though i've had this for a couple years and i just haven't worn it it's a good basic but not for this basic bitch it's from forever 21 it's a 3x i haven't worn it so there's no reason for me to keep it try not to be a hoarder 
Let's talk about little tank tops. I know these are so good to have. This one I would wear, so I'm gonna keep this one. This one I do not wear enough. It is really cute though. Also, it's inside out. Gonna let go of her. Also getting rid of this really pretty silk one. I just don't wear silk enough. I don't know what bra I would wear with this. Wait, actually, no, see? I'm trying to make outfits in my head. You don't need it. I got rid of it. Don't think, just do. Every time I've gotten rid of clothes, I've kept this shirt because in my heart, I was like, you're gonna wear that. You have to have it. I'm not gonna wear it. It's a set, so I'm gonna have to get rid of the skirt too. I keep telling myself I'm gonna wear it and I never do. It's time. See, the goal would be to get rid of the filler stuff, so everything that I have is stuff that I actually wanna wear. So just thrifted this tank top. How precious is this? This one hurts. I think I ordered this from Fashion to Figure. I did, hold on. It might be cute. I'm gonna make a pile of clothes that if I don't wear within the next month, have to go die. That's one of them. I wore this in New York, if you guys remember, love. Look how cool this sweater is. It's one of those things that I thought I would love because I genuinely think it's adorable. Doesn't look right on me, I don't like the way it looks or fits maybe in another life, but it's not this one. This is so well made. It's from Eloquy It's a size 14 16 I'm sure someone will love that a lot more than me and that's a shirt that deserves to be worn and not sitting in a closet You gotta go. I'm not into the animal print anymore. Really hold up one two three These are all from different companies, but are the exact same black shirt It's gonna be so hard to tell on camera. Maybe this one will show it the best has a little tie in the front short sleeves I don't need three of the same shirt. This one has a tag on it It's from Princess Polly and I like the material of this one so we're gonna keep it this one is from ASOS and I'm gonna get rid of it also gonna keep this one only because okay it's slightly different it has these cute ties that go up on top and a little cutout so it's different I'm keeping it you can never have too many black tops my shirt section has been condensed now I need to go through whatever is on this shelf and decide what's worth keeping from that the shelves have definitely gotten overwhelming and they're not very organized I want to hang up more of my pants so as I go I'll probably hang the pants up for some of them black shorts throw them over here because I want to put them in my dresser oh a shirt why are you not on a hanger how cute is this little blue shirt let's talk jeans a lot of my jeans are American Eagle and I have been holding on to them because finding new jeans is a pain and American Eagle stop making my jeans y'all know the gist by now fuck American Eagle I don't know why you would give us a plus size range and then stop selling them every time I look online they're only selling 20s in one pair of jeans now they don't exist in stores I used to be able to go in the store and get my size 22 mom jeans it was such a good experience and American Eagle pushed so hard for including plus size people and then just dropped it out of nowhere. I don't know what happened. I've been holding on to my jeans because I haven't been able to find other jeans that I really like. Don't really get rid of them because what if I can never find them again? I'm probably gonna keep most of my jeans for that reason, but we'll see. I have this pair, Abercrombie pair. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. So until I find something better, I'm gonna keep them. Now this pair. You know, I'm just gonna put these on really quick. I have a dress on, but... Oh, absolutely not. No, no, no. Going in the pile. This is another pair of their skinny jeans that I'm gonna keep. These ones still have the tag on them. Everyone was raving about the Abercrombie jeans, so I bought a bunch of pairs. They don't fit me right, so I'm gonna get rid of those too. Those literally have the tag on them. I think these are from Target. I am gonna get rid of them because they're a little too big. These are a size 22 from them. Probably wore them like three times. I'm gonna get rid of these too. I probably only wore them once. For the Abercrombie and Fitch Curve Love, the skinny high rise. I like their ultra high rise, and these are just their high rise into the basket. See, but now there's room for my stack of jeans. I have two pairs of jeans that I wear the most and they're dirty. There's room for them though. Some of this stuff is just not clean. Brown pair of comfy lounging pants, must keep. Is this entertaining or is this boring as shit? Are you bored? If you are, I'm sorry. Most people are like, why aren't you hanging up your jeans and you're hanging up your comfy pants? I wear my comfy pants more than jeans. They must be hung up so I can see them. I'm keeping this shirt because I'm gonna find a way to wear it. It is the cutest shirt ever. This is from Target. I don't know if they're still selling it. I got it in a pink color too like a purple. I have to find a bra that I can wear with this. I can't not wear a bra, you guys. My nipple hangs so low. It would be making an appearance everywhere I go. I'm gonna find a way to wear it. These are just sweatpants. I'm gonna keep them because you can never have too many sweatpants. What's back here? Another pile. I just bought these from a boutique in Nashville. I need to get them hemmed and then they're gonna be the best things ever. I bought a locker set to put all of my Buff Bunny stuff in. Sit and know, I'm an athlete with them and I could talk about Buff Bunny all day long. I literally love them so much. If you have been looking for good athletic wear that actually fits and is good quality and a company that like actually includes everyone and doesn't make you feel less than because you're bigger, Heidi, the girl who owns it, is the most supportive person ever. I love them so much, but I wanna have all my stuff in one area so I bought like these lockers I have to 
build them. I'm gonna put all of that stuff to the side so I can put it in there. These are like dark jeans. More Buff Bunny stuff. Another pair of American Eagle jeans that just don't fit me the way they're supposed to. I spent so much money on their jeans for nothing. I have this pleather pair of leggings because that was like so trendy. I'm never gonna wear them. Why am I holding on to that? Same goes for these pants. Did you hear that? These are from Princess Polly. I wanted it to be my style so bad. It's just not. Another pair. These I'm not gonna get rid of because I'm convinced one day I'm gonna get them to fit me. These are the coolest like patchwork gray black jeans. I got rid of a lot of pants. I can hold on to one pair of pants that I hope fits me one day. Look how much better. It probably honestly looks exactly the same. This is how many clothes I got rid of already. Almost a whole basket with one section. That section took so long. I'm gonna do this next section really fast because I don't want to bore the crap out of you. I'm gonna go through all of my long sleeves and I'll just show you the stuff that I'm getting rid of. turtleneck from Old Navy. I think I got this from ASOS. It does have a little bit of armpit or deodorant stains on it. I just haven't worn it, so I'm probably not gonna wear it. This is from Sheen. It was just one of those things that didn't look like what it was supposed to. I haven't ordered from Sheen since probably been over a year. I know it's Sheen, but for some reason saying Sheen is better. This hasn't been worn. It's from Misguided. It's just too big. I believe it has a matching skirt that I'll get rid of with it. It's beautiful. I wish it fit me. This Fashion Nova top is just another one of those tops where it has a built-in bra in it so you shouldn't have to wear a bra but my boob will slip out underneath this if I don't have a bra on so getting rid of it. The only reason I'm getting rid of this one is I just don't really love the color anymore. I've had this shirt for years. This is one of the first shirts that I bought when I was trying to like find a style or experiment more with like my outfits. I just think this shirt needs to move on to somebody else. I haven't worn it in so long. This is a piece of history for me anyways. There was a moment where I was buying a lot of silk shirts in this color like this tan color. I love silk but not in this color. She's gonna have to go. I've worn this a lot. It's time to move on. We know how I feel about high necks. I got this from Eloquii and it just didn't look on me how I wanted it to and it was a little bit too see-through. This is too tight on my arms so I never wear it. All of that is done. This is the section that's gonna be the hardest for me. My sweatshirts because I don't know why I just hang on to sweatshirts so much. This section's actually supposed to be sweatshirts too but because I knew I was gonna be going through my closet I wasn't like organizing anything. I guess I just go through these. Okay I can't get rid of this. It's a New York souvenir. My Jenica and Annika merch can't go anywhere. I thrifted this one years ago and it is just so comfortable. Like I can't get rid of it. I never really wear it, but I can't. Sorry. This is a Sublime crew neck. I get these from Urban Outfitters. I don't wear this one. Maybe somebody else would wear it more. Maybe Samantha would like that sweatshirt. I'll ask her. I suck at getting rid of sweatshirts, so don't expect much from me. My Disney one. This is another New York one and I honestly like my other New York one better. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm sorry, mom. For some reason, I don't like wearing the color red. So I haven't worn this one, so there's no reason for me to keep it. I don't like the color of this one. For that reason alone, it's out. How iconic is this? Alicia Marie herself sent me this sweatshirt. She didn't send me last year's Vlogmas merch. It's fine though. I'm not butthurt about it. I'll probably never wear this again because for some reason I have a deep hatred for this material. There's already so much more room. You can pile them all together. It doesn't look like that much. There's actually like so much stuff on the ground over here. Like another pair of jeans. I got this Arm & Hammer thing to put in my closet. Hold on, my titties. My closet's in my bathroom, so like it gets kind of humid in here, and I guess these are really good to like hang in your closet. Look at all of the water it's collected. I'm not sure what it's doing or how it's getting it, but that's a lot. This stuff needs to go where it belongs. My favorite crew neck ever. I wear it probably way too much. Princess Polly one shoulder tank top and I just don't like how thick this one shoulder is on me So I'm gonna get rid of it from half of the closet. This is how much I'm getting rid of that is so many clothes And I still have all of this to go through The grand reveal 
keeping most of my pants because I love them. Look at all of those extra hangers I have now. I'm gonna have no problem putting the rest of my clothes away. These are my dresses and skirts. I'm able to close all of my drawers now. I got rid of all the extra stuff over here. This is all the clothes that I got rid of. An overflowing basket. So accomplished. I genuinely don't know how much they're gonna give me for those, but the Buffalo Exchange here in Nashville has a plus size section and there's never any clothes in it. I don't really care what they pay me for them. Maybe another plus size human will go there and they'll be able to buy stuff. Thanks for joining me. I love you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>